Hi guys, today I have my minimally invasive glasses on because I'm going to attempt to film this video in one take. I have two cameras rolling for some b-roll for close-ups of my lips and the purpose of this video is to move through my bolder lipstick collection inventory and assess what I have and do lip samples and hand swatches of everything. If that sounds interesting to you, we're going to jump right in. my lips I have a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to go from my neutral roses to my deepest reds probably culminating in a prized possession that I picked up last year at the end of 2018 this is the Lisa Eldridge velvet lipstick in the shade velvet ribbon so that will be the last lipstick that I try on. 17 in total, so let us get going. The first bold lipstick is still in the nude family. It is a Bobbi Brown Chubby The Art Stick. They retail for a right or, just over $20, and this one is in the shade Rich Nude. It is rel relatively matte, relatively brownie nude. I probably should have swatched this one in my nude lipsticks, but this really, I classify as deeper than a nude because whenever I wear this lipstick, I always get comments. Uh, usually my students notice that I'm wearing lipstick when I'm wearing this one. So this is the a close-up of the Bobbi Brown on my lips. All right, next up is probably in the plumier nude family. This is a Clinique lipstick in the shade Plum Pop. It is a pinky plum, not terribly deep, probably again, a little bolder than nude. And this is the plum close up on my lips. I'm trying to go from lighter to darker. Next up, let's go with my Urban Decay Ravenswood Cream Formula Lipstick. This is a lipstick I purchased because a YouTuber <laughs> raved about it, Angie from Hot and Flashy, and I do enjoy it. Rosy Plum Shade. Here's a close-up of the Ravenswood on my mouth. Badly overlined. Ravenswood on my hand. I'm really rushing through this, so this is more for the lip swatch than for the care of application. That is Ravenswood on my mouth. Next up is a, this is a deluxe sample size of the Bob, of a Bobbi Brown lipstick in Sandwash Pink. Definitely a nudie pink, so I'm going to throw this into my other drawer. And this is a close-up of the Sandwash Pink on my lips. Sandwash Pink on my hand. Let's tick off a second Bobbi Brown sample size. This is in the shade Neutral Rose. Let me give that a chance to focus. Neutral Rose on my hand. Also in the neutral family, this is feels like a slightly more hydrating formula. It is in the Luxe Lip Color formula, if that means anything to any of you. I really like these two Bobbi Brown sample sizes, and I'm going to move both into my nude lip collection.
Okay, another deluxe sample size. This is a Tom Ford in Casablanca. Now, application alone, I completely understand the hype behind Tom Ford lip colors. They just hug the lip with a the most interesting, moist drag that just lays down silky layer of color. Casablanca on my hand. Next up, I'm going to going to swatch two of the Revlon Color Reshines. This first one is the shade 906 Burnished Rose. Have a faintly candy-like scent. Close up on my lips, swatched on my hand. Okay, the second color reshine I have is shade 924. It's more red, enamel red. Enamel red, close up of enamel red, enamel red on my hand. Let's go one more of the Clinique Color Pops. This one is in the shade Punch Pop. More magenta. Completely outside my <laughs> wheelhouse, but I don't hate it. Here's a close up on my mouth. It would take a unique occasion. Very, very comfortable on the lips. Feels more hydrating than the other pop formulas. Fairly staining. Ugh. I can tell my lips are drying out because they just look shattered. Charlotte Tilbury Rose Kiss currently available on her site last year. It was part of the anniversary sale, which is going on now. Close up on my lips and a swatch. I like that one. Also, it belongs in my neutrals. Uh, when I'm not putting it on top of freshly applied foundation, it actually carries more, packs more of a punch. Let's go with, I'm um, getting truly into the bolds, two more neutrals, and then the rest are either reds or bolds. All right, this is a Chanel, Coco Chanel, in the shade Mademoiselle. A little bit rosy, just goes on like a dream, very hydrating. Would want to use, I would want to use Overline with this one because it's, um, although it looks very dark in the bullet, it goes on more like a semi translucent rose. Mademoiselle. All right, this is another Chanel lipstick. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure in the shade 135 Enig Enigmatique. Very deep in the bullet. And this one is, this type of red is in my wheelhouse. It is a little bit sparkly, um, blue-based, a little berry, and a little blue. Close up on my mouth. Swatch. This is also the style in the little clicky case. It has a push release. Probably a bad day to be wearing white, but I haven't tagged myself yet. I hope the reflection in my glasses isn't killing you all. Six left. This is an interesting Clinique shade. It's called Ginger Flower. Similar in undertone to the, the Rouge Allure Enig Enigmatique. Close up on my lips. Chanel is here. And the Clinique is here. Next I'll go with a MAC Shine Lipstick in the shade Straight Fire. Close up on my lips. 
drier going on. More of a matte formula, but I kind of like the dark vampiness. Next, I have another Clinique in the shade Fireball Pop. Kind of wimpy, uh, considering what it looks like in the tube. It is, I would say, more of a berry and certainly more translucent. There's a hand swatch. Berry Pop, shade 15. This one's more vampy. Swatch on my lips. This is the Burberry. It's a deluxe sample in the shade Oxblood. This seems to come in many of their gifts with purchases. A deep vampy plum. I am going outside the lines, kids. <laughs> <laughs> the shapes are terrible, I'm sorry. But it's really, I can think of no better way to dive through my collection on a no-buy year. All right, this one's truly special. For those of you on a no-buy who are missing out on the Lisa Eldridge pink collection that was just released, this is the red from the red collection, which was released right before the holidays, 2018. It has the velvet-like finish on the bullet. It is remarkable. It can be either, let's try to dab it on. It can be either a beautiful stained pinky plum. On cheeks, I'm sorry I've made a mess because I have so much crud on this beauty blender. On cheeks, and or it can go on like a true velvet blue velvet ribbon. A gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous red, and I would want to take the time to go in and touch that up with some concealer if I had some hand. The best I have is a little light. Oh, that won't work. Well, you get the gist. I just made that look really terrible. You can build it up and it would look better if I actually took the time to rub it in with a brush first and really perfect that finish. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little tour through my collection. And I would like to challenge myself to wear more bold lips as I move through 2019. I think it's a wonderful way to change your mood. What do you say I take Fergus to the lake? Look in styling. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Click like if you enjoyed the content. And if you're new to my channel, this is how I'm documenting my no buy year. And I would be happy to have you here. If you enjoyed the content, hit subscribe and the little bell and you'll be notified of any future uploads. I am currently uploading Wednesdays and Fridays. Over in the cards, I will link to two recent videos, a June favorites and a dupe the vibe that I just put together attempting to dupe the vibe of one of Tom Ford's iconic products, the Shade and Illuminate. Check out the uh, two links off to the side if you're interested. Ciao.